lots of you enjoyed watching our first short film about French agricultural contractors ETA Jam and wanted a follow-up. So we took the opportunity to return to Northwest France in spring this year to learn more about ETA Jan's other services and see the latest additions to their fleet. The varied landscapes of Brittany and Normandy formed the perfect backdrop for this film. The milder temperatures in mid-April gave the vegetation a real boost. So when we arrived, the forage harvest had already begun. We already introduce you to the Kroner Big X 1180 with its 14-row maize header in part one. At ETA Jan, this powerful machine is out working in the fields all season long. The planned workload for the harvester for 2023 is at least 1,200 hectares. For around 400 hectares of this, it should be combined with a direct cut header or the pickup as shown here. On this farm, 120 hectares of rye have been harvested as whole crop silage. The customer actually decided to mow the crop two days before the harvesting was due to take place. ETA Jan also took care of this task with a Krona Big M 450. Samuel has been working for ETA Jan for 23 years. The Big X is his favorite machine, and he's proud to be able to drive one of the most powerful, series-produced agricultural machines in the world. For the maize harvest, a second 1180 with a 12-row maize header was ordered. In addition to their dairy farming activities, this farm also operates a biogas plant, which is where these harvested crops are headed next. Biogas is a major point of discussion in France at the moment. There are currently a few hundred plants across the country. The farmer harvests the crops in the fields near the farm personally. Apart from that, ETA Jan takes care of the entire harvest, from mowing, to harvesting, and even the logistics and silo compaction. The Piston Bully is one reason why many customers decide to call on the agricultural contractors. The tracked tractor, which weighs around 10 tons, has a decent thrust performance. The lever can be folded hydraulically and has a maximum width of 4.6 meters. Thanks to this 430 horsepower machine, Ronan, the driver, can easily move large quantities of the harvested crops into the silo. It also has a 12 meter Mercedes Benz engine under it. Outside of the agricultural sector, ETA Jan uses the PB300 Polar Green Tech and another machine with the same construction for forestry work. This Fent also comes from the agricultural contractor's fleet. Both vehicles together allow quick installation and good compaction of the harvested crops. The commonly used abbreviation ETA comes from the French term for agricultural contractors, entreprise de travaux agricoles. ETA Jan's site in Cherouex is just a few hundred meters from the English Channel coast. Sebastian has been managing the company and its 25 employees for several years now. His grandfather, who originally trained as a blacksmith, founded the company in the 1950s. The first services that they offered included grain and straw harvesting and tillage.
alongside classic agricultural services, today ETA Jan's range of services also includes municipal works and jobs in the construction industry. The fleet is incredibly modern. It can mainly be seen out and about in Brittany and neighbouring Normandy. The agricultural contractors are also a popular employer in the region. Many employees have been with the company for years. However, they are always on the lookout for reinforcements. If you're a driver, mechanic or a seasonal worker and would like to join the ETA Jan team, you can contact them via Facebook or the displayed email address. French speakers from abroad are also welcome. Our adventure then took us to the commune of Mont d'Oeil, named after the nearby distinctive hill. When we arrived, Antoine was hard at work at the foot of the 62-metre hill with the new Baylor wrapper combination. The McHale Fusion 4 was delivered in spring 2023 and has joined the existing fleet of three John Deere round balers. With the baler from the Irish manufacturer, ETA Jan opted for film binding instead of the standard net binding. This conserves the forage better, means that the round bales are easier to open later, and ensures that there is no residue from net fibres left in the forage or the distribution machinery. The Fusion 4 is a fixed chamber bale that produces bales with a diameter of 1.25 meters. The header can be equipped with 13 or 25 blades, depending on the customer's requirements. The baler should produce between 10,000 and 12,000 round bales each year. Now let's take a look at a subject that often crops up during spring. Solid manure spreading. Usually this is a team job with two manure spreaders and a loader. In most cases, farmers move the farmyard manure or compost to the field beforehand. The loading, however, is almost exclusively carried out with ETA Jan's loader. The 15 ton 160 horsepower JCB is the ideal machine for this combination. The spreaders are from the French manufacturer Pichon. In France, Pichon is a market leader when it comes to slurry tankers and even takes first place for solid manure spreaders. This single axle tanker can hold around 15 cubic meters. The spreading width can range from 6 to 10 meters depending on the material. Thanks to the hydraulic boundary spreading vanes, which can be folded up or down, the driver can drive closer to the field boundary without spreading the manure past it. Later in the afternoon, we met back up with Ronan, who we had filmed earlier on the Piston Bully. When we found him, he was working in a field with a very special view. The famous rocky islet, Mont Saint-Michel, can be seen in the background. It's a popular tourist attraction and definitely one of our favorite filming locations from the past year. There are only a few other agricultural areas closer to the almost 100 meter high mount and its imposing abbey. The largely stone-free polders along the mudflats are ideal for growing potatoes. Each year, ETA Jan plants around 100 hectares of potatoes for its customers. The Grimmer GL410 is a four-row planting machine with a one-ton capacity silo.
The third part of this film series will also look at spring work, but the focus will be on slurry equipment. We will show you the first Vervart Quad self-propelled machine delivered in France. If you want to learn more about ETA Jan Agricultural Contractors, or find out how to contact the company, then head to its Facebook page. We hope that you'll enjoy watching part three.